What's going on, everyone? We are back with the Student to Life podcast. I am your host, Shan. And this is my co host, Rich. Why you act like you? Don't know you. Know you <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are back with another episode, and I'm super excited. We are going to be talking about some juicy stuff. <laughs> Y'all know I love the relationship topic. Yeah, you do. I know. <laughs> yeah. I can't bother with him, y'all. <laughs> you know? Okay. Um, so. Today we have two wonderful guests with us. We have Calvin and Danielle. How are you guys? Great. Y'all ready to hop into some smoke? Yeah. First, before we get into the the the, the, the stuff, I'm just tell us a little bit about you guys and around what you do as a profession, and just a little bit about you before we get into it. Starting with Calvin. Um, I my name is Calvin Garvey. I work in legal for an aviation company. Um, yeah, I am 47, no kids, like to take long walks in the park. <laughs> My favorite color is blue. <laughs> Not your profile. <laughs> um, pick one, it's my new friend. I am S-A-F. <laughs> Single A-F. <laughs> yes. So you said you said legal for aviation company? Yeah, my company buys um airplane simulators. Mm-hmm. We put them all over the world. So anytime we buy an airplane simulator, um, I either draft the contracts for the buildings, for the simulators, and for pilots, and for um, flight attendants to train on. We got to talk tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they make a lot of money. I just need some no money. money. Y'all, y'all, y'all ladies that? hear that. <laughs> what about you? A little bit about you. So um, I am, I work in finance for a human capital management company. So I work with um, large companies and helping them with their um, benefit structures and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I am 46. <laughs> or I'll vote for y'all in line. I feel like I don't really vote for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I have a 14 year old son. I'm a mom. And I'm kind of sort of not single. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but um, yes, I um have a fourteen-year-old son, and what else? That's that. Just everything you need. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll be. Oh, and I should say, I'm also a recent widow. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been a widow for a little over a year now, so I lost my husband of sixteen years of marriage. That's how we do it. Yeah. I'm doing Okay, so um, today we decided to because we like talking to normal people. That's not all the time we want to no, get. So we know. Believe it or not, a lot of these people that are in media or celebrities or wherever they are, mm-hmm. they're not as normal as people think. That's true. Because you know, yeah. we're meeting behind the scenes. Really yeah, crazy. So, <laughs> so being normal is not on the Trust me. Actually, um, so our, our our podcast is called Student to Life Podcast. Mm-hmm. And when you hear that name, when you hear the, the name Student to Life Podcast, what comes to mind? What does that mean to you guys? Starting with you. For me, it means that um, you're forever a student. Mm-hmm. If you want to continue to evolve and grow mm-hmm. as a person, that's that's what it means to me. Yeah, piggybacking off of what she said, a journey. Mm-hmm. I think about a journey of life. You know, and every everything in life is level. Right. So it's just trying to get to the next level of life. And as Daniel mentioned, evolving. Right. So that's what I think about. She, I'm like, it's a, I, I like the question. She shoot through the question in there for the past couple episodes because everybody that came on literally had different right. answers. Mm-hmm. It was the same point, but just different way of wording. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what makes it so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, guys, before we move further, please remember to like, subscribe, and share this out to your people's mm-hmm. and comments, okay? All right. Um, so yeah, so we're talking about navigating relationships in mm. this era, mm. right? Dating, dating, mm. not just, you know, relationships, but dating, even if you're single AF, right? <laughs> um, so 
it's an interesting topic. Y'all know a lot of podcasts talk about it, but you know, we wanted to not, we wanted to shrink it down to that because, you know, we'd like to get the professionals where we can, as far as like giving those in-depth information, but it's also nice to just talk to just the normal. Yeah. The norm, right? And and <laughs> no, no, no. Just that that, because dating in the in the more professional, not professional, but like in the in the industry, people that's in like famous on social media, mm. it's different than just regular life. Dating. Yeah. Like mm. so, that's that's the uniqueness of this episode. Um, so how would you guys um you know describe that life for y'all? How has that been? Let's start with you, Calvin. Uh, uh, dating. Dating is different. <laughs> <laughs> dating is different. Um, it's a different culture. Yeah. You know, um, people don't, people say they're dating with intentions, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's important to ask them what is their intentions, okay. yeah. you know, because not everybody comes with good intentions, right. you know, and sometimes people are dating um, and not really ready to date. You know, and I think that's the world we, what I run into, mm -hmm. you know, people are like, I'm ready, I'm ready to be in a relationship. And I don't think we have relationship issues. I think we have singleness issues, mm -hmm. you know, people not learning how to date themselves Yeah, first, mm -hmm. you know, learning how to be with yourself. Right. That's you know, it. Um, I know for me personally, I had to learn how to love myself, mm -hmm. what I need, what I require so that when I do meet somebody, I know what to ask them for, right. you know, because growing up, you know, for me, I would always expect someone to know what I want, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and when they didn't give it to me, I'm like, oh, you don't know what I want, you know, what I right. need, but I never really expressed that to them, right. you know, so I had to learn how to date myself, ask myself what my boundaries are, what's my requirements, mm -hmm. and what can I bring to the table? Mm -hmm. Because I always believe you have to be what you're looking for. Right. So I couldn't go out there, um, you know, demand more than I could supply. Right. You know, and that's really what it was. So I feel like that's an important point when you when you mention um what the roles nowadays people mm -hmm. are saying what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. it, they feel like it's one size fits all. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. requires a different different things from mm -hmm. different people. Mm -hmm. Because you could be the guy that likes when a girl hugs you in public mm -hmm. and I could be the guy that hates public mm -hmm. display of affection. Mm -hmm. So the, the 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 roles now are so like reversed in a lot of ways and a lot of people like the traditional way mm. and i feel like that's now making it even harder today right. because the social media is telling you that this is yep. the way it's supposed to be yeah you know? so what about for you what do you think about like <laughs> dating now um especially what with, with how how it was back then compared to now mm. yeah i think social media plays a big aspect to it i like what he said about you know, loving yourself first mm -hmm. and understanding who you are as a right. person mm -hmm. um, is important. But then, you know, also understanding that, you know, you can you can go out there and, and uh, date mm -hmm. to see what you like. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're getting out there just to see what, you know. That blurs the line sometimes. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. Um, but I also think that it's, it's what you... If you want to see proof of what the negative is out there, you're going to get the negative. Mm, I feel like some some people get attached to every, like it's very easy for them to become attached to everything, especially mm. women, no yeah. offense, but a lot of women will, they would have a pen and mm. they would be attached, so attached to that pen that if you lose it, she would be so heartbroken if you lose mm. that one thing. Mm. I feel like the same thing where they see him, they meet a guy, you see him three, four times. Now you're so attached to that guy. Oh, no, no. Them guys be getting attached. <laughs> <laughs> they <mad>. true. <laughs> no, it happens too, but a lot, yeah. you, uh, it happens too with a lot of guys too. Mm. It, it, you, you go out there, you meet four people, and you're attached to the four. Mm -hmm. Now it's hard for you to even let go of one because yeah. you're like, how do I choose? Because if you make the wrong choice, you're going to regret it. But I, I should have picked him or I should have picked him. Mm. Mm. You know, especially if they're all great people. Mm. Yeah. So I feel like that kind of blurs the line sometimes. So you're gonna feel like, like the options options there. If this guy messes up, he's on edge because mm -hmm. like if I mess up, she could go to one of these other guys. Yeah. 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 And that I think it goes back to intent though. Like yeah, yeah. being intentional. Mm -hmm. Because quickly you should know that, okay, this person is not gonna, you know, give me what I need or add to my life. Even though you have you can have two or three people that you're dating at a time. But he he made the, the right point by saying, um, you got to know yourself and know what you want. Yeah. Right. Because yeah, if you don't pick up on that little thing, like 
red flags are a real thing. You know, mm-hmm. seeing that in somebody, in order to see that, you have to know what you want as a person. Mm-hmm. But and however, mm-hmm. you may not know that until you get out there. Yeah. So sometimes you just have to get out there and experience things. Like for me, getting back out there, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. You know, I was in a marriage for 16 years. Mm-hmm. I hadn't dated in 20 years. Mm-hmm. Right? So it's different, so, like, it's different from when know. you started. Right. Yeah. So, and I definitely didn't want to create a model after my late husband. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go ahead and move forward. Right. Mm-hmm. So I had to date to find out, like, what is it that I'm looking for? What, what, what happened nowadays is a lot of a lot of people date and they sleep with everybody. So yeah. whoa, it's kind of whoa, 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 whoa. a lot of people talk about that. It's a real thing. Yeah, dating is not like, yeah. A lot of people do though. In the process of dating, a lot of people do. That's I believe I believe men. <laughs> I, believe, I believe men and women date differently though. Yeah, right. Sure. You know, we date yeah. differently. So as you mentioned, mm-hmm. men will sleep with multiple yep. women, mm-hmm. you know, and women are, I'm not saying all women, but mm-hmm. most women, you know, they're dating and oh, they're most, yeah, they will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, they are. But they're, 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 they're getting an emotional connection. Mm-hmm. Right. Men are getting that physical connection. Right. You know, so I think even for me at this stage in my life, it's hard for me to date multiple people at one time. Right. That it is. It's for me, it is. It is. I don't have that. Because I'm confused. Because right. Yeah, it's, it is, I get confused, that. confused on that. And I talked about yeah. that. It's like when you have a connection with someone, yeah. then if you're dating multiple people, now you have distractions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So how can you focus on that one, one person? Yeah. If, yeah. You're not, if you're dating multiple people. Yeah. Well, right? I was being honest, though, for me, personally. <laughs> I can't speak for every man. For me. I feel like sex is a part of dating for me. Because if it's not good, that's where the, that's where the, the whole thing ends. Like, the sex life has to be somewhat, and for me, to keep me there. No, that's why he said I can't date multiple but then, people at the same wait, time. You know, sex has been hiding up for a long time. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. It's a single forever. But how do you define dating, though? Like what? Cause so like, dating is collecting data from a person. <laughs> not sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I, I know a lot of, you know, people, people that say that, you know. No. So that's literally what it is. You're collecting data. So for me personally, guys, you know, I've been abstaining for a while. <laughs> and it has changed my life. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? And I wanna know. The person that I am dating right now, he's all with it. And at first I had that mindset stretch, like, okay, if I don't ample, like, how am I gonna know this is what I want? Mm-hmm. But we've connected in other ways to where and even even on a um romantic way uh physical connection mm-hmm. not intercourse but physical connection mm-hmm. and and it has there's this electricity there where it's like i can't wait to snatch your so let me off. answer your question <laughs> if you have this connection without having sex and then you have sex and it's not good <laughs> what do you do moving forward uh, i believe that that can be that can be fixed mm-hmm. women that's yeah what women. So because wait, right now you the are you <laughs> they should go on a date group. no 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 not, like he said i cannot date five six people at the same time yeah. unless i'm just having fun that's I, different. that's not the question i asked you. I'm I asking said, a question. are you having sex with every woman that you're going on a date with no because i don't go on a date with multiple women at the same time oh. if i date this one it don't work out and i'll just go to the next one so what if you go on a date today with somebody and then on Saturday another girl you decide to take out you slept with one girl this today and then oh no 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 no, no. the only way okay. I'm on the next date is that the first one don't work out okay that's my point okay. so you've been doing that too where you're focused on one yeah exactly I can't do because yeah. if I meet you and you're good and she's right. I'm not gonna want to let nobody go yeah, yeah, so yeah. I already know yeah so unless I'm just having fun that I'm gonna meet five six different people i'm just having <laughs> 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 oh my god wait a minute you're waiting for that word they were like wait hold on i'm not gonna be honest about it yeah i do i mean fun is different from dating that's too total love oh sorry now you're dating with intention for it all that you're just having fun you have to be honest about it that's me i'm an honest guy what do you say what i want is it you want it or you don't? Like, like, there's a lot of women out there that's that want that's okay the same thing. That. Yeah, yeah, they're good with that. And I can tell you from experience. Yeah. Tell a woman, wait, hold on. Mm-hmm. So you tell a woman, I'm just having fun. You just want sex. You tell a woman that? Oh, it's it's really like, okay. Yeah, they're men. Wow. Yeah. So is that dating? 
No, that is just right. different. That's something exactly. different. It's just in bachelor mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something different. That's just happening for. And a lot of women, you don't even really have to have that conversation. We like, we just like it. Right. They know, like, they, they're okay with that. For me, yeah. Uh, yeah. But you're dating with, you know, yours is intention. Right. I yeah. no, it's, it would still be a heart no. <laughs> but there's a lot of women that don't really want to be locked down. Yeah, they really yeah. don't. They just kind of just want to. Depends on the space that they're in. Yeah. yeah. You know, because sometimes they come in being hurt or come mm -hmm. in there like, you know, so for them, they don't even want to put themselves in that space. Answer. No, no. no. Is that, they don't. Right. Sometimes people right. just want to get their rocks on. Yeah, yeah, That's right. the escort service. No, because like, they're getting I'm... paid for that. <laughs> yeah, it's different. And sometimes you're just not in that space to be in a relationship because being in a relationship is work. Yeah, and sometimes people just want a temporary job. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and then a lot yeah. of people, a lot of people get into something like that, like a transactional thing where it's just sex, and then they catch feelings and think it's automatically going to be a relationship. Re relationship talk is different. Now we're going to talk about your credit score. We're going to talk about Ooh, what I'm different. Did you yeah. understand that men have sex different than women? Of course. You 100%. know, when women have sex, it's emotional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when men have sex, it's a transaction. Yeah. So, oh, well, no, no, not all no, men. No. But then what you got to understand is nowadays, the woman will tell you before you tell Fact. them. That's all they want. That's what they Yes. That's not really what's happening. But that's what we need. Yeah. That's what I'm That's what I'm saying. 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 Don't violate the terms of this contract. This contract says said you got to give up an NDA. <laughs> okay. and, and the same thing for me. If I, if I see her out with a man or she's dating, I can't say nothing. Yeah, that's not my business. But then, what was your intention to begin with? Sex. Yes. <laughs> so then, it's not dating. So no. we're having no. a about dating. We're not having a conversation. No, no, no. About we're just trying to talk about that. I'm just yeah. giving an example. The difference is you're you're asking me if I would date five people at once. I'm like, no. That's different. If I'm just having fun, that's a different thing. You could have fun with five people. Yeah. You could only date one. <laughs> so what he's saying is he's not going to sit on the phone and talk in depth with, with if he's just having fun. He's just having fun. Wait, like, we're here for one reason. Have you ever gotten caught up with that sexual mm -hmm. person that you were having fun with? You can't. You can't. No, that's not nobody's what? business. That's not nobody's so business. there's never been a woman that you were like, oh, my God. <laughs> I wanted to just have sex with you, but... Oh yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> and I any man would tell you, you, know, you pass up some good ones when you especially in your twenties when you have having fun, you pass up some good ones, but at the same time He's still on his yeah, he go, your pride is like, yo. All right. That's news to me. So uh, the word, you know, accountability is mm. huge. And obviously if we're dating, um, even when you're when you were in a relationship, right? And the relationship and or even if you're in a relationship and you have an argument and there has to be some accountability taken. So how how do you guys go about taking the accountability after a breakup All about like yourself? Do you guys do that or is it just like the blame game? No, um, I'm a person that takes full accountability, even if it's not my fault, to be honest with you. I didn't, you know, because then I could take ownership. <laughs> <laughs> not really. You know, I could take ownership with that, you know, because there's always something, even if it's somebody did something, there's also a part that I can play in that as well. Mm -hmm. You know, the way I spoke to somebody, right. the way I reacted to it, you know, something. Cause you know, I'm a believer, even when it comes to like security, right? Like if I, if a, if a girl walks into my life and she's insecure, that's on her. Right. But if she's in the relationship and she gets insecure, that's on me. Mm -hmm. I have to take accountability for that, right. you know? So it's that, that is like, where did I go wrong where I can fix that? I don't even care if it's a 5%. Mm -hmm. That 5% could make a big difference in the situation. What about for you when it comes to accountability? Um, I think that um, accountability is just having self-awareness. Mm -hmm. Finding out what your position is in the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and finding out what, what you own. <laughs> That's it. it. So you, you spoke about... Um, you take taking accountability even if it's not your fault, mm -hmm. right? I feel like I tell people this all the time, in, in order to move forward, you have to accept your part that in, 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 in anything that went wrong. Mm -hmm. Or is you're going to hold on to that one thing and say, it's your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault. Yeah. Once you accept that, okay, I could have maybe done things a little bit differently. Because mm -hmm. I feel like in any situation, you could have did one little thing to change the outfit. Yep. You know, so in order to move forward, I think 
taking accountability is is one key part of that. Do you have you have you ever been in a space where you're like, damn, I took accountability too late, too late? Yeah, yeah. And it's and I I, I know for you, Danielle, it's, it's you know probably a little different. But even when you were married, you know, and you and you know your late husband would get into an argument or a dispute, mm-hmm. did you go through that space of like? Okay, let me go in the next room and just process and then see how I get it. Hundred hundred thousand percent. Like even in the moment, I'm like, okay, let me pull back, let me figure out what's 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 my part in this. Mm -hmm. That's what the important Yeah. And I think that's what people miss is that what's my part part in it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always two parts to a story. Yeah. And people forget that they want to point fingers all the time. Yeah. It's like, what's my part in it? What do I own? What's happening right now? And how can I make it bad work? Yeah. Like, yeah. What about you, yeah. Calvin? You ever took accountability too late? And you're like, damn it, I, I messed that up. I fumbled that. Yeah. You know, for, yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. You want to sports analogy? Yeah, I'll be with I don't like that. I love that. I, yeah, I have. You know, I'm quick to say I'm sorry, though. But, okay. you know, I think for men, we process things internally. Okay. So when I need time to process, I will ask you for time to process. Yeah. Okay. Like, give me a minute. Give me a minute. That's Let good. me digest it because I know that. Just because we turned the stove off, it doesn't mean it's still not hot. So I kind of still need that time. Always come back. That's the question. Because you say that, and then sometimes we're sitting there waiting. Okay, when is he gonna come back so we can have this conversation? When is he gonna come back? Yeah. Yeah. No, I I will always come back because I don't want you to have to sit in that space of anxiety, being stressed. I you know. So (laughs) I think think that that. That is hard too because a lot of times women want to let's have this now. Let's yeah. do this right now. Yeah, yeah. Gonna go, that's the compromise. Yeah, and we shut down as yeah, 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 a lot yeah. of times because we don't communicate. We internalize. A lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've learned now to speak my mind. I don't care how you feel. I'm yeah. Down, yeah. Mm, yeah. I never want to say something that's going to hurt somebody's feelings and I can't take it back. Yeah. So the compromise is like, babes, just give me a minute. I know that you're upset. I will be back. Just let me process this. Wait, but you know the important thing you just said? Mm. I will be back. Yes. So yeah. Sometimes yeah. we have to hear that. That's it we that rare. Yeah. Because sometimes when we hear, I need, I need time to process, and you walk out the door, we yeah. don't know that you're coming back. Yeah. yeah. You think that you're going to call that Instagram model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to get out Instagram. You're going to get on your little hinge. Right. Oh, and go to Instagram. That's true. Yeah. I get that. If you say, I will be back. I will be back. Yeah. I do not a lot. Though. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of women really think that. You know, it matters. So you walk through the door, they block the door like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you know. that that leads into the next question about insecurities. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. How does that affect the, your relationship? Like dating somebody, every they remove you mate, they're looking and they, they're wondering if you're doing something behind their back. How does that affect like a relationship, especially in dating? Mm-hmm. Or even with yourself, like you find yourself getting anxious or jealous every time. So here's the thing. If you every look time. for it, you'll find it. Mm-hmm. That's number one. Number two, what happens in the light comes out. Yeah. Happens in the dark. What is the dark comes out to the light? Right. Mm-hmm. It's, it'll always come out. Mm-hmm. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. Mm-hmm. I go by feeling. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have the time to follow behind you. Search the phone. I don't. I don't do yeah, any of that. Yeah. That's too much. Because honestly, if I feel like I need to do that, mm-hmm. then I don't need to get it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about you, Kobe? Yeah, I've been in a space with someone that was insecure, mm-hmm. and that was from past relationships. Right. So I kind of dig deep and unpack those things sometimes mm-hmm. because I could understand I really it. Like so, that. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> because like you know, that. you know why? Because I've been in that space, oh. right? Not insecurities in relationships, but insecurities because of past situations in life. So I understood what that was and how she was yeah. moving with that. So I was like, "What can I do to make this easier for you? To make mm-hmm. it better for you?" Because there may be something I'm doing or not doing that may make you feel some type of way. And I don't know it. Yeah. And that's really what it was. I'm thinking I'm doing everything cool because I'm like, I called you. <laughs> but she was like, no, when you called me, it was this, this, and this. And I was like, you know what? I could understand where you may be coming from. And then once I address that, then it, we need to move forward with that. But if she stays in that space, yeah. then it isn't me. There's yeah. nothing I can do with that. Right. You need to take time to work on that before you can get in a relationship. I feel like a lot of the insecurities come from, especially social media, mm-hmm. when I, a man or a woman could go online and see something that's maybe better than what you got Ooh. or looks better than what you have. may not be better. Like, Grass is greener. Right. <laughs> but it may <laughs> not be what looks that way. Gotta water it up. 
Just like everyone, my life is jam-packed. I'm always on the move, but self-care is top priority for me. That's why I'm a part of the Texture Club at my favorite salon. My easy monthly subscription to the Texture Club solves everything. You know, you got to water that. Right. Especially <laughs> as a woman, a lot of these women, you go in their DMs, they have maybe 10,000 men in their yeah. DMs yeah, yeah. to tell her everything she wants to hear. And now she could up and leave you tomorrow. And in your head, you're like, oh, she has options. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're trying to stay on edge. And that's where the the the, the insecurities come yeah, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like in social media, it causes it does. that. It does. It does. No, but you know what causes a lot is the dating app. So for me, <laughs> it's like, hold on, we go, we go touch that. Hold on, hold on. Not, okay. not yet, not yet. We go touch okay. on that. Cause we go touch yeah, that. I didn't <laughs> that. So I had a class today and she was saying, she was talking to her therapist and her therapist said that she has anxious attachment. Oh, oh so, yeah. yeah. And I was like, well, what is that? And she was like, you know, if she, if she gets into an argument with her, with her boyfriend or whatever, or whoever she's dating at the time and they, you know, don't, don't call her for hours or whatever. Like in those in that space, in those hours, she's either depressed mm -hmm. or super mm -hmm. anxious or, you know, she's trying to figure out what's going on. And I'm like, that's probably a level of insecurity. Yeah. Because if you can't just be with yourself for a few hours and you're not talking with, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, the person, <laughs> it, it, it may be a level of insecurity yeah. that you have within yourself. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's one of those things that you got to really work on, you know, do that work within yourself. Yeah. I feel like in the dating process, you have to just know who you're with. Yeah, yeah. You gotta know who you're, you're talking to because if you're if you're dating a person and this one little loophole where you see that you cannot trust this person, to end it there because yeah. whatever you see in the dating process, it's just gonna get worse with yeah, 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 yeah. the person. Yeah. So a lot of times you're dating and you 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 see something that's untrustworthy and you you say okay, let me work with it. Yeah, yeah. And then you go into the relationship with that, then it, it multiplies a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You Especially if it's it. a heavy thing, like. Yeah. Like did you just did you just freaking I don't know Pop pull your house. hair out or something? <laughs> did you like just smash a glass? I didn't talk to you. Just wow. Right. You know, yeah. yeah like yeah. I think the Asian anxious attachment is real. It is. It is real. But that's the also the social media addiction. Yeah. Attention. Section. Addiction. Addiction. Yeah. 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 That's why I think it's important to work on those things before you get with somebody. Right, like you cannot bring your baggages in there with them. Yeah. It's one carry on. Like, don't come with a car. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Is that like, like spirit? Oh, yeah. Is that like a fucking carry on? <laughs> You're coming with a pre a preconceived no cargo. Yeah. Like you can't yeah. do that and expect somebody to put your things in the bin. Like it's too heavy. Yeah. But I have to carry that. Yeah. Like we all come with our own insecurities. We get it. You know, yeah. but when yours is loaded, mm -hmm. yeah, you can't be with somebody and you know, bring that load, that yeah. baggage. You know, the crazy thing is, I feel like so many people are are not dealing with their the, their stuff. Yeah, because if you you're in a breakup and you're going through a hurt, you have to deal with that. Yeah, before you get forward. Yeah. Some of us are not. Oh yeah, no, no, we're just moving on to the next. Oh yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. The next one. Yeah. 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 A lot of us. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not, yeah. not right dealing. The, yeah. And hurt people, yeah. hurt people. Yeah. I've, I've, oh, talked to a, I've talked to a lot of people that don't know how to be by themselves. Yeah, yeah. They, they have no idea yeah. how to yes. just not be in a relationship. That is key. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to learn to be. Self-care. Yeah. yeah. And I was just telling someone <laughs> <laughs> that, like, I could take baths. I can go out and have tea. Yeah. I what I like. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Right. Love me. Yeah. That's important. So important. You have to have your own agenda mm -hmm. because if your agenda is his agenda, Ooh. then it becomes overwhelming for him yes. because like mm -hmm. he has to carry you now. Yes. So it's important to have your own space, your own thing, so he can do his, right. you can you do, do you yours, yes. and then you guys can do oh, with trouble. Yes. Yes. And then with the with the <laughs> the anxious attachment, that's what it is. I feel like I lost the one already. Um, I think if you find yourself having that anxious attachment, you have to you have to break down what's going on internally. Yeah. Instead of saying, I'm in this space and I'm just gonna stay there because when he does come back, you're still gonna be in this yeah, space and he's yeah. gonna be like, What's wrong? Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But you gotta process within myself within yourself and say, Dang, I'm maybe I'm tripping out, you know. Let yeah. me just breathe. Let me yeah, go find yeah. something but to wait, take you know my what mind. You said just now mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that don't look within themselves. Mm -hmm. Within themselves, mm -hmm. right. Do not. Yeah. Goes back to accountability. Finger, 
they mm-hmm. want to say is the me- this is the thing that I have an issue with saying that the dating pool is shit pool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's only shit yeah. if you want it to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. If you look for it, that's what you. Yeah, that's what right. you're gonna get. Yeah. yeah, and 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 a lot of people, a lot of people like you said, knowing yourself, mm-hmm. understanding that anybody that comes into your space is gonna make it better. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna add value gonna to add your better. life. A lot of times, right people there. look for people right to come there. and make them better. Right there. Yeah, you know, instead yeah, yeah, yeah. of getting somebody that's gonna add to what you have going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's one of the things that a lot of people are not doing. Like, fix your stuff first. You know, know yeah. what you want, know yourself, and then yeah. somebody will come and add. To what you already yeah. have going on. So yeah. when we come to the table, we sharing things. <laughs> we not <laughs> no no trauma dumping. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. It's important. Yeah. Now to the topic of online dating. <laughs> oh, shit, right? <laughs> and I'm all for it. I think it's my it's a great thing to do, to, mm-hmm. especially. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait a minute! <laughs> she threw that in there. <laughs> wait, wait, what did you say? Not Eddie. You didn't catch it. Oh my god! <laughs> hey Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, um, I love it. So now the online dating is, you know, I, hmm. I've, I've dabbled in it, you know, myself. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm dabbled it in it myself, and um, I think it's cool because especially if you have a busy life and yes. you know you don't have the time to really be out there as much, and you know especially because me personally, I don't really like meeting people in the clubs. Mm. Sometimes I go to the clubs, you know, I barely go out, but when I do, it's like I really don't like it. So I've had my seasons where I did online date, and it was cool. I met dope people, and they're still cool to this date. Mm-hmm. Um, so what do you guys take? Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you, I love online. <laughs> I could, <laughs> I, can, I can bet you very easily yes. by doing no, that. No, you know, no, especially no. for a man, right? Especially for a man, as in constantly having to go out with yes. you. I get a chance to see who you are just by conversation. Mm-hmm. And when I see certain things, like I need this, I need you to take me on a trip on our first oh, date. What? X, X, <laughs> You know, I need you to to buy me this X. You know, so now I get an opportunity to see who you are in my pajamas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and like you said, if I'm busy, if I don't have things to do, if I'm, I have a lot of things Wait, going are you on. Really saying that? Oh, what? Are you serious? They said, let our first date be on an island. Are you Long that- island. <laughs> <laughs> What's me? What about what? You were online dating. What you think? Um, so I did dabble a little bit. I go in and out <laughs> of online dating, but never. Oh, you get it. Oh, so I, my my thing is, it's just find local people. It's hard a conversation. I, I kind of, I'm kind of on the other side of all. You know, do online. I think, I think Instagram is a you can just go on. There's an app. It's going there. It's, just the reason why it, it can work that way, yeah. but when it's when you're actually on a dating app, you're more intentional. Everyone's on there for the same and reason. Everyone's there for the same reason. <laughs> no, 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 no. You said well, not the same most, reason, but okay. they're, most they're, people. because not every woman. I'm not. It's on Instagram. To I was find about to say that. I'm right. on Instagram for work. Well, a lot of people meet people on it. People do meet people, but yeah. it's not. That's not what the app is for. It's mm. not a dating app. Yeah. So when you and you, I'm pretty sure you've never opened a dating app. Before. Nope. So when you on a dating wait, app, wait, wait, they wait, ask wait, you, stop. what? He's never, never been on a dating app. Never. But ever. he doesn't have to be. He's a DJ. <laughs> they they come to him probably. That's true. I think but, I, for me, it was more like, I've never really approached women. Like, mm-hmm. it was a very oh, rare occasion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a very rare occasion because I've always had anxiety mm-hmm. when it comes Same to that. I'm, I'm awkward. I'm so they, awkward. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was not a case where I know it's a similar energy, similar mm-hmm. interest. I just... I just don't. That's why dating app is so good because I'm similar to that, right? Like it's hard. I don't approach a female because mm-hmm. rejection don't work well for me. Yeah. So dating. Wait, 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 not for you, for all men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I will find any like any reason to get away from you just so I don't have to deal with that. But the dating app, I can just press like. Uh, <laughs> we like each other. Cool. It start, it's a conversation starter. Yeah. yeah. You know, so that's a great you, icebreaker. Right. And then with dating apps, you go through their profile. You see if they have, some people don't want people with kids. Yeah. If they have kids, people don't want people who smoke. They don't want people mm-hmm. You know, you see more of an, a blueprint kind of, of who you about to be dealing with. Yeah. I can. I can. It's a, pro, it's a cover page. Wait, wait, wait. What'd you 
I can't do the dating. I mean, that's not wait, wait, wait. I want to know why. It's not a good culture. For me, yeah, it's not really. It's not a um, lie. For me, it was like even when all right. So when we had BBM, I don't know if you guys remember Black Blackberry. Oh, BBM. Yeah. When BBM came around, and I was one of the last people in my group to get BBM, and they blasted out my pin. Then it was like a, a plethora of people just jumped in one time, and it was like meeting people here, 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 and there. It was that easy. And even going out, like she said, as a DJ, it was like, it's not even that hard for us being in the public space, you know? So it never, they, I never thought it would have to be a case where I have to go on a dating app. Yeah. It's all available to me. So, yeah. And for seeing that space. People that are on dating apps, they have more, um, not quiet lives, but more, um, their lives are more intimate. intimate. Like it, mm -hmm. they, they go to work, yeah, yeah. they come home, they go to gym. They're not, they don't really want to be social also, at lunch. The yeah. Yeah. Comes to play when you don't have time to go out at right all night mm -hmm. and, and, meet someone. and meet someone. And for me, mm -hmm. guys don't approach me. Right. Mm -hmm. They think, whatever. Yeah. yeah. It, would be it is intimidating. Some it is, men yeah. are intimidated. Yeah. It could be intimidating for men. Why? Um, because we can look at a woman, see that you're beautiful. Right. And then for us, we're like, she can have any man she wants. So. Yeah, yeah, so we don't know really what to say to kind of a, yeah. attract you. So yeah. saying things like, oh, wow, I saw you across the street. I think you're beautiful. Yeah. I would love to get to know you. Yeah. Seems corny. Mm -hmm. And some men, <laughs> here's another thing that y'all got to work on, too. Let's yeah. say you, you Talk to us. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, let me get my thing. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, that. we like confidence in the man. So if you see a woman, you... You know, you guys obviously don't really operate off of emotion. Don't tap into that as much. So we're energy. Yes. So if if I see you and you look at me the right way, I'm going to like, you know, I'm going to do something to make you feel like you can approach me. Mm -hmm. But some men don't look at those little cues to where it's like, look if she smiles, look if she bats her lashes, look if she puts her hair back. But if I'm just like, no, but I'm, I'm going to disagree with it's you. It's going to. He, but what you he won't have as much confidence. Yes, when and that way is so accurate because when I go out, I don't get approached. Right. I'm, I'm, I don't like, like, I'm gonna disagree with you because a lot of times, especially beautiful women, they get approached so much Wait, that. Am I a beautiful woman? Yes, you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of beautiful women get approached so much that you are just the other guy that comes along. Right. You know what I'm but that's hold on, mm -hmm. hold on. A lot of times, it's not you being in close proximity. It could be just passing, passing by. Yeah. And a lot of times you just give a woman a compliment and she just like shies away from you because it's like, okay, it's just another one. So then, but that's not your ideal woman. That's not who you would want to talk to. What I'm saying is, say you're in written a social space, right? Mm -hmm. Like your event, you had a, a relationship event. And say there was some, there's someone sitting across the room and he's eyeing me and I'm give, we're, we're giving that contact, yes. that energy to where you can feel it to where like, I like sip my drink a certain way. And, and then at the end of the show, you're like, you know, you could come over to me because you felt that comfort level. You felt yeah. that energy, that yeah. uh, synchronicity happening from across the room. So typically it's like, I seen you from across the room, those type of things. But they some men do don't tap into they that. Do that. Okay. They're just like, oh my gosh, she's beautiful. They don't do that. that, that you can always go to correct you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Two things with this, right? So a man of value, as you meant to. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was only about you. No, man of value. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. See, now a man of value mm -hmm. and what he said. So now if he sees you across the room and he sees a corny guy talking to you, mm -hmm. he's going to look at you and say to himself that you just brought the property value down. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So he won't want to talk to you now because he'll look at the corny guy and say, She's into that type of man. Okay, but hold up. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. And, and that, but that may not be the case. You right. may just be smiling with him because yeah. you don't want him to go crazy. No, you know, men are right. Yeah, man, if, you don't speak, if you don't speak to him. But a man will look at that and say to him, like, damn, he's showing her more teeth than the dentist. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's by smiling. Right? That's so for him, and we may be looking at it wrong, mm -hmm. but for us now, we'd be like, I'm not going to. Body do language is so important. It's true. Because, like you said, I could feel like he's a psychopath, and if I <laughs> if I if I reject him right now, I might be like, "Hey, go and drink on me." That's true. But my but I'll smile, and my body language will be so tense. Yeah. Then if I if I know you're over there, and I'm just like, I relax. You know. So, all right. So so different. what you gotta understand is, as men, real men, we're hunters, right? It, we see you before you see us. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So we might not make eye contact. We might we not <laughs> we, we might not we might not um. <laughs> 
have any form of connection before that. I might see you just walk in mm-hmm. with this one down and like, yo, who's that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. to approach you now, all the thoughts go into my head like, should I? Yeah. You know yep. But, but oh, you can't just on. approach though. You you have to hold on, see, continue. You have to analyze it because if you're a hunter, the lion just don't see his prey and jump at it. It's gonna watch its prey. Yes. Correct. And then it's gonna say, This is the perfect time. Yes, but listen, Correct. that, that but prey might not be, be there for long. Be. That prey might not be there for long. It's but not always and I everybody. You're right. So sometimes, so for me, when I'm at the bar, and you you get them to someone who's being nice, you know? But I think, I'm gonna, but it. you have to understand. <laughs> that. That's true. But men don't think that far. We're short-term thinkers. Right. So we're thinking, you guys are looking at the whole block, mm-hmm. the whole neighborhood. We're just looking up the street. Yeah. But that's why I said the only thing I got to focus on is body language and energy. Focus. It's not always that. But see, when I got we see us. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on the scenario. And, and so here's the other thing. And I hate to say this, but my pastor used to say this, right? He used to say that you no longer have to put bait on the hook no more. They just jumping in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, true. So now what's happened with women now, because they feel like there's not a lot of good quality men, they're approaching you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? So now I'm not saying all men, but men now are falling back right. and being the divas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the approach is not coming from men. Now. Yeah, like now we just sitting back like, I'm just going to stand over here and just chill. Yeah. And they just, by the time you- I did that one time and I was like, I will never do that. <laughs> I will never do no, I initiated. I was like, I was like, oh. <laughs> let me get his number. Did and you're you? an asshole. <laughs> But I was like, that was, I was just what, like, how you doing it? Over? It's what you just did. It's what you just did. That rejection that you got for the first time. Yes. Imagine getting that. But y'all, oh. built, y'all built for the rich. Um, <laughs> I see what happened now. Oh, we built for that. <laughs> y'all got to know that y'all not going to always catch the prey because y'all the hunters. But listen, they're just jumping in. Like, you walk. You, I get that. See, like, that a lot. You walk inside the gym and they're like, they going to do something. Is that attractive, though? If that we, emasculating. Nah, if no. we find you attractive, yeah. it's attractive. Yeah, if we don't find you attractive, <laughs> okay, <laughs> unattractive. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm like, uh, excuse me, you want something? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> then another one yeah, walk yeah, up, you're like, Why? Problem. Yeah. You put too many expectations. Instead of you going out and having a good time mm-hmm. and finding mm-hmm. someone who you have energy with, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the energy and the expectations. That's true. Yeah. That energy, man. Yeah. Let's go out and have a good time. Speaking of expectations, it. right? Mm-hmm. Um, you've been, just, you said you're 47, seven, right? Ooh. And, and you said no no kids. kids correct. Um, I, you've probably been single for maybe a while. About two years. You're right. That's a yeah. while. So you think, because um, I've, I've Shredded the that needle for like six, seven years. <laughs> but do you think it's because sometimes because our expectations are too high for the people, like when you're dating? I think when you get to a point which you always say this, right? When you don't know what you want to eat, you find everything. Mm. When you feel when you realize what you want to eat, the search becomes stronger and longer. Oh. Right? Because now you're like, I want that. Yeah. And if it takes getting that, then you're willing to wait for it. Mm-hmm. Because when you when you're just going through drive throughs if they're eating anything that you want to eat, you'd be sitting there like, why did I eat that? It hurt yeah. my stomach. Why did I do that? Yeah. But when you really realize what you want, right. then you're waiting for it. Mm-hmm. And I always tell people, I'm single, but I'm not looking for a girl. I'm preparing myself for her. I like right? that. So mm-hmm. it's prepared. And when you prepare yourself, you got to wait. <laughs> yeah. It's a waiting thing. You mm-hmm. can't just go for anything. Because you're gonna find yourself in the situation again, and then said nodding over, you said settle it. Yeah, you know, and by that time, anything can happen. Right. So, um, for 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 you now, you said you've been recently widowed, right? Yeah. So, um, going through that that process and going back into dating, do you have expectations of um the guy now to maybe live up to a certain standard? Yeah. Mm-hmm. To make sure that he meets mm-hmm. those requirements. <laughs> Here's the thing is that I had a sixteen year marriage that was healthy. Mm. So not perfect. Mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love but it. healthy. Mm. So what that means is that I don't want to fall backwards. I'm gonna move forward. Mm-hmm. But I know that moving forward will be a different chapter for me. And so finding someone that can fit into that different chapter. That's mm-hmm. it. That makes sense. 
I mean, for, for me, I probably would never got into that situation after, you know, losing someone. Because if I if I go to a breakup and I don't even want to date again, I can't even. Really? But she went. She went a few months. Yeah, yeah. She started dating yeah. again. She yeah. held here. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because yeah. because it's like it's like touching a hot pot and not yeah. want to touch that again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'd be getting that that level of hurt and be like, damn, I don't want to go. Through so this it. is something he said: self awareness. Mm-hmm. So I began to love me, mm-hmm. and I remember I called my girlfriends and I was like, I fell in love. They're like, whoa, like. Oh. Mm-hmm. I took I every it. playlist and every love, love song mm. and I sung it to myself. Mm. <laughs> and I learned that I love mm. the beach. I love <laughs> bat, long baths. I love mm. massages. I love, so I fell in love with myself. So do you think it's important to go through the motions, mm. like not so distract yourself from going through that hurt, like crying and doing whatever you got to do to get through that? Mm. Because a lot of people, they will distract themselves. Mm. Yeah. Not want to feel hurt. You have hurt. to feel. You have to, to go feel. through it. You have to go in, into the dark space. Mm-hmm. And then you come out of it. Yeah. It's always like, it's a cycle. Yeah, yeah. You're going to go through the dark spaces down here at the bottom, but you're always going to come up and rise yeah. Is there is there a process to, to, to get to that, that space? Yes, it is. And it's accountability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. said that. Yeah. It's being accountable to what what is going to feel good for you. Mm-hmm.